You okay? You okay? Yeah. Hold up, boy. Welcome to No Front Brakes, where I ride my mountain bike with a prosthetic arm. Central Texas has been a buzz ever since the Lift Access Bike Park at Spider Mountain was announced. Personally, I've been out there for a few of the dig days and I even made a video about it. All the work was leading up to this first enduro race on site called the Race Down Spider Mountain. The day before the race, I woke up early and I drove out to burn it to pre-ride the only trail no one had been allowed on yet called Rotor Smoke. Oh wait, in case you missed the other trails, here are clips of the other two that I've ridden during dig days. First, the blue flow stage. and the Black Diamond Trail called Black Sabbath. This is so wild. Into that! pretty comfortable on both of those trails, even if Black Sabbath was difficult for me. Yeah, I'm not gonna go balls out today because I wanna have enough energy to climb this hill six times tomorrow. And here you can see the lower tier behind me. And you can see where the lift is going in. The day before the race was the only time you could pre-ride the third stage, Rotor Smoke. I was about to find out how it got its name. It is so steep! Yeah. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is the most appropriate trail name ever. Kyle, that's not that's not the line right there. Yeah, bro. <laughs> this is the sea line. So wait, what do you do? You come over the nose of that rock, or do you go left? I'm saying. I, I think I went right where he's climbing. Here, tell me if this looks all right. Ready? I think I want to go this way, right? Yeah. Right here. Oh yeah, that's it. That's it. So I have my camera pointed up right now. <laughs> it, it looks a lot bigger from down here. I don't know, it looks pretty big from up here too. It has a good rollout, so I think if you're... Yeah, for me, fine. So the center is pretty good too? For me, that's the line. <sighs> yeah, buddy. Yeah. Woo! Be careful, stay left. Let, oh, I see, I see, I see. Oh, oh Andrew. <laughs> oh! But yeah, that was definitely a two wheel drift all the way across the yeah. rock. Yeah. Does that look pretty sketch? Yeah. Yeah. It felt pretty sketch. You know, my line is right here. Ready? I'm going to do this. Okay. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Yo! Coming down. Got you, man. You got it. Yeah, 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 right. That's the line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the line. You okay? 
I'm just gonna roll this out. <sighs> yeah, that sucked. Whoa! It's funny how one wreck can really set back our confidence and mental barriers. But I didn't know what the next day held. Regardless, I went home for a good night's sleep. Oh, all right, it is race day, and uh, I am leaving super early from my house to make sure I get there in time. I have a few last minute things I wanna do to my bike. I wanna add a little bit more sealant, top off my tires. Uh, I still need to fix the angle of my handlebars. Uh, they twisted a little bit yesterday, and you can see my car, man, it's like packed up like a hoarder with all kinds of junk, so everything I need. Hopefully it doesn't rain and hopefully I can stay on my bike. So here we go. Let's get moving. I rode over to the riders meeting and listened to Herb and Jeremiah give all the race details before the mass exodus up the mountain. You see the lifts weren't in yet at the time and it wouldn't be a true enduro without the transitions. In this case it meant walking our bikes up the mountain six times. After my crash during the pre-ride, I was already doubting myself, and I chose to run the two spots where I was not confident. My strategy for the race was to knock rotor smoke off my plate first, and then the other courses. What's up? gimbal Waiting in line for my second run, the worst case scenario happened. The heavens opened and it started pouring. At this point, I have only just begun to explore how to stay rubber down when it rains, or rather rubber prosthetic on the bars. I live in central Texas and rain isn't something I worry about. Last time I rode in the rain, this happened. <laughs> Well, here we go. I'm already starting off slower than last time. If you notice, you can hear my prosthetic squeaking against the pole, and it's already starting to bobble around on the bars. Hell no, I'm walking this. What up, Jeff? It's going. I got it, I got it. So I'm half running, half skiing down the rock garden this time. And then this happens. What up, boy? Let's watch that again. Yeah. What up, boy? 
What a kick in the nards. <sighs> yeah, my prosthetic's not staying on. Call it out if he's coming. You may notice that it's only my helmet cam now, and here's why. My chest camera was still on the trail. Luckily, my friend Jeff found it. I was really defeated. I considered turning in this. my chip early, and uh, I almost did. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not. It's hard when you think that the end is no longer achievable. <clears throat> Something's not quite right. <laughs> this wasn't my first rodeo with a wet prosthetic, but I chose I to wait it out and to... see if it could dry. Get under... I'd never quit a race, and I didn't want to start that day. It's gonna rain again. Those clouds don't look promising, uh, but my prosthetic is dry again, so I'm gonna go up and keep going. I got four more. <laughs> it's four more! Oh. With the looming threat of rain, I raced the remaining stages without the chest camera. My helmet cam has since been repositioned, but you can see that I was still giving it my best despite the conditions. Oh. My goal became to finish, even if I had to slide down parts of the course on my rear end. And I did that. Ski down. <laughs> I'm happy that I stuck it out, where 20% of the field with two hands called it quits. Stubbornness pays off again. Alright, I'm done riding for the day, and uh, I'm actually going to dip out before results, because i got to get home. My wife's going out tonight, and uh, I got daddy duty, so... It was a fun day, but honestly, I'm ready to be home and chilling and drinking beer and relaxing. So I'll put a picture of the results in here and uh, I guess you'll see it. If you learn nothing else from this video, it's that determination trumps everything. Get out and do what you set your mind to. Thanks for watching this video. Do all the things, the thumbs up, the bell, subscribe, and until next time, stay shreddy.